Okay guys, so here we have something interesting. I'll show you. It is a Redong gas detector and it's digital. It's um, made by a company called AirThings. Um, Coratium Home. Uh, battery operated, uh, takes I think three AAA batteries. The reason I bought this is because um, this new house that we just bought, um, when we did the inspection, the inspector said the radon gas was uh, above the legal limit. So I want to double confirm and uh, probably get a monitor for our home so we can keep an eye on the actual radon level. Um, so let's take it out and take a quick look. And basically, radon gas is a very bad radioactive gas that's naturally occurring in the earth, in the rocks, in all kinds of things, and it sips through into your basement. And uh, the and then from the basement, it sips through uh, into your living room area. And uh, if you breathe it for a long time, if uh, you breathe it a lot, you're gonna get lung cancer. The chances are much, much, much higher. So nobody wants to read and gas in their home, okay? So we haven't done any remediation yet, but uh, I want to get a test kit because we're not gonna move in for a little bit, uh, just to test the actual level from this to whatever the uh, inspector told me of the level. So in the box, basically you have your manual right here and you have your actual thing, which have a USB port, interestingly, on the back is the battery door. Um, so let's open it up. Take a look. Maybe there's batteries inside. Yep, so it comes with batteries, so that's nice. Um, let's see. Expires 20, 2025, so let's just take this off. And then, okay, so it's already turned on. Um, obviously, I need to... Take a look at the manual first because I have no idea what to expect with this thing. Um, I guess I need to go down to my basement and put this at the area in the basement. But then again, I'm thinking of actually testing the living room area to see if the gas is actually sipping through and if you know the living room area is actually quite dangerous or not. So the first thing I'm going to test. So it finished its calibration state. Um, it's probably gonna take a while to get a get a reading. And uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video at here. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna come back and update the video after I read through the manual, after I get it set it up, so I can show you guys exactly what's going on with this uh, AirThings digital radon detector. Okay, guys, so basically I've um, read through the manual really quick. It's a very short manual, actually. It just comes in a whole bunch of different languages. Uh, first, when you get this, of course, remove the battery tab, and then the thing powers on. So there are only a few things that we need to look at. First is the dot on the top right. If the dot is blinking, that means the machine is actively measuring the readings. So over here, there is a long-term average, which have four dashes because... We don't have any data because we just turned it on. Uh, the manual says the data comes in in about six hours to 24 hours for the first measurement. And this long-term data averages up to one year, so 365 days. This is the average data. And since this is a US unit, the unit of measure is PCI slash L. I don't really know what exactly it means, but for our standards, I think any level below four PCI dash L is, is, you know, is fairly safe. Anything above that is not safe. Short-term average displays from a option of one day to seven days. And uh, value, again, if it's being measured, updates every day. So every 24 hours, it's gonna do an update. And long-term average, it updates every 24 hours, okay? So, Obviously, I'm going to leave this in this uh, house for a few days. And next time, I'm going to come back to this video to 
uh, update you guys is gonna be probably on the weekends which is about five to six days away and then we can actually take a look at the value of you know the reading level in our living space again this is not supposed to be used in the basement which is where the level was taken by the home inspector when they did the inspection uh, this is only for living room measurement so your bedroom your living room your kitchen um, and where do you place it so according to the manual you need to place it at somewhere where the air is kind of stale it doesn't move around so away from the windows away from the doors i'm gonna leave it in probably the living room area at the corner far away from the door and uh and then we're gonna come back and take a look at the value uh, again they said keep this thing away from moisture because the moisture is going to damage this machine so obviously i cannot use it in my basement because my basement is actually a very very humid so um so the basement measurement i don't think it's going to be doable however we are definitely looking at doing radon remediation for the basement because of the high value reported during the inspection so on the back there are two buttons the reset button is going to reset all your values up to you know the, it retains the value for up to a year so if you reset it it's going to reset everything the mode button is for you to check on i think the the um the average days uh you can switch the days and also a few other information um when it becomes available so again i'll show you guys those values later on in the next section of the video but for now uh, this is what it is. I'm going to mount it on the wall and then I'm going to leave it for a few days. All right, I left this in my living room. Um, they also have a little sticker basically tells you, you know, the value of four plus is, is not very good. Uh, we need to have professional um, remediation and two to four, we need to ventilate and then monitor. And if it's zero to two, we continue to monitor. So it's fairly safe. Okay, so see you guys in a few days. So for my last test, I have decided to leave the radon uh, meter in the basement, actually on the uh, on the staircase of the basement. And as you can see, the seven day average that's from, you know, leaving it in the living room is 1.9 and one day average is 6.86 because I put it in here yesterday the level is alarmingly high. So most definitely we are trying to do radon remediation uh, for our basement, obviously because our basement is not sealed in a lot of areas and the dirt is exposed. So the radon gas just leaks into the air surrounding the basement and especially coming up the stairs. Um, so even though it says try avoid moisture the basement is pretty moist and we just had a storm so it actually uh, got flooded a little bit um the radon meter actually worked just fine um and so basically if you have it for more than seven days it's going to give you a one day rating and a seven day rating uh that's your short term average and the long term average is since I installed or since I started this um, this metering uh, when I putting the battery in there um, and that's probably uh, I would say two weeks ago uh, so the two week average is 2.05 numbers high only because I actually left it in the basement starting yesterday so it was recalculating based on the much higher uh, radon, radon level reading so at this point I know my basement is really high in radon gas, uh, not not very safe down there. But we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, remediation, okay? So the video is gonna conclude here, and uh, I'm gonna tell you that yes, the air things radon meter really works and it actually detects the level I think fairly accurately because from our home inspector his radon test. Uh, the results come back around five point something close to six and this one is actually giving me a higher rating uh, which is not good news but at least we know the level is really high in our basement and in our living room area so as you can see the seven day is one point it's going to show you 1.91 so um, the temporary remediation 
I found is actually just by opening up the windows and uh, uh, using a fan to blow some air into the room. That way actually it lowers this reading to below one for the living space. But if I close all the doors um, and have the air just circulating in the house, it goes back to 1.7, 1.8. So for sure we need to get this house fixed on the Raiden level. Uh, this is a quick review of the Air Things radiometer. If you guys have any questions or comments about this uh, radiometer, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Thank you so much uh, again for watching at this video. Uh, I'll see you in my next one. Take care.